Welcome back my fellow Pirate Warriors and we're going to be talking about probably the fastest grinding method at least as of right now. Um, there, This might be the fastest grinding method to get these souls per stage. Now if you're wondering what I've been doing, obviously I feel like we're all been grinding right to max out these soul maps. Maybe you already maxed out the soul map. But what I've been doing is I've just been hyper focusing on one stat per you know per run so i'm just focusing on the strength side right now i'm almost done but you know i have been using katakuri because obviously him souped up with the new skills that are available he is a one of like the best characters for me in my opinion anyway his the damage he does how fast he is you know you have the skill that allows you to you know keep in your full first burst a little bit longer the more like hits that you have which we'll get into in a different video if I want to talk about those skills specifically. But I've been using Katakuri a ton. I know I've seen other people use Whitebeard. Don't worry that he's not leveled up. I'm just on my PlayStation account. And the other account is my Steam account. So I've been using, you know, the Steam account mainly because, you know, it's my it was a lot easier to record. But I figure when I'm grinding, I kind of just want to relax in bed or on a more comfortable spot than just looking at my PC all day. So regardless, though, the best character to get into it and to get the like souls a lot quicker is this this guy right here law now it's kind of funny because he has the op op fruit and he, it's the fact that he is essentially the hacks or you know a gateway or a shortcut to do this grind is actually pretty funny so we're gonna get into it and we're gonna talk about the ability that i'm gonna like that specific you know the one that we use to get the points rather quickly so let's go so this ability right here essentially cheats the game for the souls. Scan. So this ability, you know, Law opens up a room. If you're new to the game, he opens up a room. He scans enemies that are inside the room and he steals items from them. And, you know, in this mode, you get points per items too. Not only do you get, you know, points for, you know, beating side quests, beating main, you know, objectives and stuff like that. You get points for actually you know taking items like you pick up an orange or you know you pick up health items and stuff like that they give you like a hundred or you know, i think i think it's only a hundred points actually but you know they give you something so everything you know that you can pick up gives you an item so it's worth you know picking up the items even if you're at full health with you know certain skills you're probably always going to be at full health anyway but you know it, it this scan ability basically does that but you have control over it so this is basically the hack skill or special that you're going to use to actually just you know expedite the process of grinding souls so these are the skills that i have equipped right here obviously it's pretty stacked and i know Domino spirit really good for your full force burst to heal you know like shatter rage of lion concentration and worked up i believe are all new from the new soul map these are all new skills that are honestly insane increase damage to strong enemies increase attack against strong enemies but the main one that's kind of important, you don't need it, but this one would help expedite the process because this basically fills up your special gauge a lot faster, right? So if you have this equipped, it'll make the process a little bit faster because every time you use scan, obviously it goes to zero, but now with concentration, it should fill a lot quicker. So yeah, this one's gonna be basically the main skill that we're gonna use. Bounty Hunter helps with, you know, of them dropping bags of berries because obviously when you pick it up, you'll get some points from it, I believe. So that combined with this and combined with scan is probably the most effective way to grind souls. And let's demonstrate it. So this part is going to be post recording because I tried to record it while doing commentary, but I think I got a little too distracted trying to explain stuff that the point of the video kind of fell through because it, it took me like 10 minutes while I was trying to break stuff down while doing it. But, you know, I did it in silence and I basically, you know, I think I got it down to, you know, five to seven minutes or six to seven minutes, which is pretty quick. A lot quicker right i shaved off like five or you know you know six minutes off of my initial time now that's usually the run that you're probably gonna have you know you might have some luck like i did in this one which you're seeing where i got a drop of 1900 i believe or something there or 1600 so from doing the scan and absorbing all the other items as well i think bounty hunter helped as well with the extra drops for berries and you know like i, I was mentioning this when i did the live commentary but while you're going around you know doing the stuff and you're trying to get these scan but if you happen to run into one of those gold chests you may as well pick it up because those gold chests give you 1000 points so let's say you're 14k four or five minutes in you find a gold chest open it pop it and then you can leave the save right 
So I'm just going to leave you with the rest of the gameplay here and just kind of demonstrate it and, you know, hope you see what I did and kind of just go off of that. Again, I don't know the exact mathematics on the drops. I assume maybe when you're in your full force burst that it might have an amplification for, like, drops as well as if you scan stronger enemies. So if you scan stronger enemies, you might get a bigger drop, like a 1,000 or 1,200, you know, along with the other little ones, right? So maybe, you know, scanning, like, Luffy and stuff. You got to be careful, though, if you have... If you're at my level right now, which is how strong my character is right here, you know, you might kill the enemies in, like, two hits with the equips on. The reason I kept the equips on, obviously, is because, you know, I need to defeat the enemies in general, though, to keep boosting my time because you can... You know, you can't forget that this is still a time attack stage, right? So if you don't focus on that, then, you know, you could probably be at 12, 13,000 and then like, boom, 30 seconds left, right? So that's why I still had those very powerful skills, you know, equipped because I stopped defeating enemies to extend my time a little bit further, right? But, you know, for the most part, I don't, like, if you do it properly, you shouldn't be past basically the law segment of this stage once you get to law you should be almost done grinding and then after you know you get a couple more you should be able to get out of there so like i said pick up any item that you find use bounty hunter and use concentration and i'll leave you with the rest of the video and then i also have a already recorded ending thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the gameplay <laughs>
<笑>何をしようと俺の勝手俺は海賊だからな君侍なのかそれにしては不思議な格好だけど So that's essentially the grinding method now obviously the way it went it went pretty well this time around i got some pretty good drops i got like 1600 1700 a couple 800s 500s right off the beginning so even then i could have been a little quicker i feel like i neandered a bit in the beginning uh, i ended up having to pause to do something really quick or to address something so i came back to it but you know regardless though i came back and it's still it, it just barely was shy of like seven minutes ish so if I was a little bit faster in the beginning with this run, this run could have been maybe like 20 seconds shorter or something like that because obviously the clip starts around 350 in the video and I think it ends around like 10, you know, 1020 or 1030 ish. So it was not even seven minutes of, you know, of a, of a stage, right? And obviously these are Muso games. So seven minutes is pretty short, at least in hindsight. And like I said, these could be shorter because obviously i neandered a bit so maybe if you're doing it you're focusing even more hardcore than i was and just you know focus on the grind you might get this even quicker and maybe you get lucky and because if i would have got lucky i didn't see it because i was so hyper focused on getting the scan out i didn't see on the men on the mini map for any of the gold chests that were around but if you are lucky enough to be getting the run that i got and you also got you know those gold chests to spawn right next to you you probably would have been out of here in like four or five minutes, right? So these, this stage, I mean, this can apply for all the stages. I just use this stage because obviously this is probably a lot of the, the, you know, the hardest stage in terms of like, you know, enemies, how hard they hit, the amount of enemies and time like management and stuff like that, that I know a lot of people are struggling on. So I just figured I'd use this stage as like a primary example, but this method should work for all the stages in terms of scan abilities, maybe the first stage might be quicker to just do the side quest and all that stuff because it's, you know, it's a rather easy stage, but because I feel like the scan ability might one shot all the enemies with how strong at least my law is. But if your law is a little bit weaker than mine, you might be better off, you know, still doing the scan method there because you won't kill them. But regardless, I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you liked the demonstration. Let me know how, if this method that you are, were you using it already? Are you going to start using it now? And let me know if it works out for you and if it really did help you with the grinding method. With all that being said, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 7K. We're almost at 4,700. You guys are insane. Love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.